we just got to our open boat ride. We should be leaving within the next 10, 15 minutes. It's about an hour and a half ride um, through all the canals here in Amsterdam. So that should be fun. And it's actually a nice sunny day. Uh, most of our days have been rainy days, but it is a nice sunny day. So we're thankful for that, especially being that we're going to be out in the canal. So we'll definitely catch up some footage for that. And like I said, about 10 more minutes and we're on the boat. Off the boat. Um, hey, Ash family. <laughs> we were in that little boat right there. But we just got off. It was good. It was a 75 minute boat ride um, around Amsterdam. Kind of like a historical type deal, but it was great. We're about to eat now. It's starting to get cold again. We're tired and we're so jet lagged. Like, I can't even live my life right now. Yeah, we're exhausted right now. The last 20 minutes of that ride, like I was dozing off, but we're gonna get some food, head back to the hotel, and uh, get some rest. Get the sack. <laughs> Catch you guys later. All right, so we started day two here in Amsterdam. Uh, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm fighting the cold a little bit, but I think I'm overcoming it. By the way, have you taken airborne? Yeah, I took some this morning. But I've been fighting the cold, but we're gonna get the day going. Um, we're gonna visit a couple places. We're gonna go to the red light district tonight. Taking it, taking it easy today. So let's go. We've made it to the I am Amsterdam sign. We're gonna attempt to take a picture. It's super crowded right now, but we can make it happen. So this is the line for the Anne Frank house. Um, we're actually gonna wait this time around just cause it's super long, but she said it's less than an hour wait. Earlier today was a four hour wait. But just so you guys can get an idea of how long this line gets, the Anne Frank house. That's the entrance. My wife and I actually got the idea that we should go up to someone that's in the front of the line and offer to pay their ticket if we can go in with them. And it's not a bad idea. The ticket's only nine euros, but uh, I don't know how the people behind them would feel. But we chickened out and we made the line, so. But it's not bad, less than an hour is really, really not bad, so. They allow us to record inside we'll do so catch you later all right guys so we were able to get into the Anne frank house and it was great i really wasn't able to record didn't really allow it um i tried to sneak in some footage but my gopro started acting up it froze up on me 
So I wasn't able to record anything in there. Um, Tell them a little bit about it. But it was great. So the Anne Frank house is, if you guys don't know, Anne Frank was a young girl that during the Holocaust, not the Holocaust. Yeah, the, the, during the Holocaust. During the Holocaust. Okay. Yeah. So Anne Frank is a girl that during the Holocaust and the whole Jewish concentration camps and all that, um, she wrote a diary because these Dutch people took her and her family in and I think there was a total of eight individuals that were in this Dutch house hiding behind a bookshelf for two years and they survived that way for two years um, they actually ended up getting caught and all but um, and she died she did die unfortunately but during the meantime while she was in the closet sorry we're trying to cross here and like I said it's crazy out here so we almost died yeah, we were trying to cross and we almost got ran over, but traffic here is crazy in Amsterdam. These people, it's an, anyway. You have to look out for the buses, not only the buses, you gotta look out for the trams. And not only the trams, you gotta look out for the cars. And not only the cars, and then you have to look out for like 20,000 bikes that are coming at you at all times. By the way, I apologize if the lighting is like really dark, but we're walking to the hotel right now. I don't apologize because we're outside and we can't do nothing about it. Excuse my <laughs> wife. Alright, so like what I was saying, maybe we got a bit better lighting now, but um, Anne Frank was the whole Jewish Holocaust. She left a diary behind that, I think it was her father that found. Yeah. Her dad found it. Her father survived. Her father survived, but everybody else in the family did it. Um, but the diary is a very, very huge deal. Um, as you can see, it's their house was made into, I don't want to say an attraction, but a place where people can go and actually see um, where they lived, how they lived, um, the closet that they hid in for two years. So that was a really good experience. I really wish I could have recorded some more, but they really wanted to preserve um, the experience for people that actually went. So, and they were kind of watching, so I didn't want to get in trouble and get kicked out or anything like that. So I respected their request. So. But it was good. Um, we're getting back here to the room. Um, day three is tomorrow, and then we leave Monday to Greece. So we finally get some warm weather there because it's been 58 degrees right now. Um, their highs are about 65, 70, uh, maybe. But I understand Greece and Rome is in the 80s, so we're very happy for that. But anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So one of the main sources of transportation here in Amsterdam is actually bicycling. I would say 75% of the people right now are bicycling. A lot, a lot of them. It's pretty dangerous though because the few people that do drive cars, I mean they don't they don't take into mind that there's a lot of bicyclists, so we've seen some pretty close calls so far. Pretty cool. I just telling my wife uh, these places. Paris and Amsterdam public transportation is is a big thing most people just use public transportation or they ride bicycles but I couldn't see myself doing that I think I'm too much of a car guy to use public transportation she likes it but I prefer a car so. but here like I said bicycles and uh, scooters and motorcycles as well same thing with Paris but and uh, Amsterdam actually has the most canals, I think more than Venice, so... It's crazy how different their culture and the way they live is compared to us back in the States, so... It's fun. Good morning, Ash family! Alright, good morning, y'all. Today is our third day here in Amsterdam. Um, we're at Vondel Park, which is Amsterdam's version of Central Park. Yes. So we're just gonna go in here, take a look, see the scenery. So today's our final day here. Then we go to Greece, get some warm weather. 
Yes, so. <coughs> Paris and Amsterdam have been in the high 60s pretty much the entire time and for some reason we just weren't expecting that type of weather. No, we definitely brung uh, summer Florida weather type stuff just because we came in the summer. We didn't realize how quick it was going to be here. So, and then at night it drops down to the mid to high 50s. So it gets cold, um, especially leaving 95 degree weather when we left Florida. So, but anyway, let's take a look at Vondel Park.